The original dress um, I made uh, in 1987. And at that time, I had just left school. I had run away from school. And I, you know, I, was, uh, I had very little money. So the, the actual materials that I originally used were, I got them from the Salvation Army. So it was made for under you know, 50 bucks. Um, but eventually I remade the piece because I discarded that one. I threw it in the, in the dump site, uh, thinking I'd never have to wear it again or think about it again. But then um, it was a, a couple of curators came a knocking and they said, oh, we'd like to show that piece. And I went, oh, I don't have it anymore. I, I threw it away. But um, they asked me if I would remake it, if I would consider remaking it. So I thought about it, and I thought, well, yes, I can do that. And so the one that exists today is a remake of the original dress. The materials have slightly been upgraded, but not overly. I'm still using chicken wire for the beaver house structure. And I'm still using sticks. Sticks are sticks, right? Cotton, basic cotton that has a floral pattern. Beadwork has the floral pattern. So I think it's, you know, it's flowers, flowers everywhere. And I think it's, it speaks very much to the female femininity or the female being. You know, I grew up watching them bead work, do beadwork and a lot of it was floral patterns and whether it's the strawberry plant or whatever, whatever they were doing. So I, I guess in rising, to the occasion, in rising to the occasion, of course, I naturally would revert to that, what I know and what I've seen and do my own, you know, maybe not as elaborate, maybe a more quick way of doing it um, within, within the dress. And, I, and also, I remember our dinner wear that we had when I was a child. It had roses on it. It was probably from England. So, you know, I grew up with those plates. And, and I never thought about it as, well, where does this come from? Uh, until I was making this dress. So it's just, it was a natural thing. I grew up with those dishes and I grew up looking at that beadwork. In thinking about the, the Duke and the Duchess are coming, so what am, I gonna, what am I gonna wear? And they're coming to a fur trading fort, so obviously it made sense that, well, I have to build a beaver dam on this dress because that's the history of, that we're celebrating with this royal visit. We're, you know, the whole industry of, of, of um, trapping and killing of beavers, which my family was very much involved in. I mean, my grandparents had trap lines. Uh, my mother used to skin beavers for trappers. So the beaver house and the beaver is very familiar to me uh, as a little animal and as a, as a moneymaker. Um, so I think that I really wanted to, you know, I came up with the idea to make this bustle, this beaver house bustle. And then of course, since the royal family is coming to visit, it made sense to, uh, you know, put their history into, into this beaver dam because it's, it's so connected. We're so trapped up together, maybe. And so there's little, souvenir cups of the royal family. I think there's Prince Charles and Lady Diana, their marriage cup, or one of them, a version of it. Uh, I also put in, I think, like shiny objects, thinking of trade goods, trinkets, and that whole, how people think that we, we sold ourselves out <laughs> for some shiny objects in a, you know, a little looking glass or something like that. So I wanted to make fun of that and, and poke fun at that, that notion that you know, we, we lost a lot because of these, these things, you know, and these new things that came to our land. But at the same time, I think that I see us as, as people who uh, embraced new, new items, new objects, and just, you know, learned how, you know, we wanted to use them. And I can see that in, in my own family, like, we use snowmobiles, we, you know, when they were trapping these, they got skidoos, they started to get the new tools to, to make their living easier.